another day, another day in the life video. You guys seem to like this type of content and it's really easy for me to make. So let's have at it. Of course, we got to start off the day with feeding people because, you know, they seem to think they need to eat multiple times a day. So let's cook some French toast and bacon for the family. And by that, I mean for me and the kids because Ryan's dad wakes up hours before us. So by the time I'm awake and making breakfast, he's already moving on to lunch. And Ryan always starts his day with a protein shake instead of an actual meal. Up next, let's go clean the girls' hutch. And yes, I said the girls and not the bun buns because we have had yet again another case of misidentification. Turns out we did not have a boy bunny and a girl bunny and any chance of having babies at all. Dobby is in fact a girl and is a sister to Buttons instead of a boyfriend. I cleaned their hutch today, fresh even though I just did it on Monday because they did go to the vet. They both got spayed today, fresh surgical incisions. I wanted a clean hutch for them to come home to. Next up, you guys might as well just start calling me Dr. Doolittle. Because it is time to treat the Mr. Jakerton, who is still dealing with an upper respiratory issue. The vet is aware we have been in regular communication. He is now taking steroids twice a day to try and decrease the inflammation, which means twice a day I get to bundle him up like a little kitty cat burrito and force feed him alongside trying to shove a pill down his mouth. Fun times for all involved. Now to make Ryan a protein shake again with the coconut milk, frozen strawberry, pure maple syrup water, and some protein cake. Quick and easy, easy for him to get down. The bunny snuck back from their vet appointment without my knowledge whatsoever because Middle Little was outside when Papa brought her babies home and she took them upstairs and got them tucked away. So I went in, checked over everybody, checked out their incisions, made sure they had what they needed and of course spilled their hay and then of course, you know, tried to tell them I was sorry for all of their horrible times for the day by giving them treats. Dobby, not so interested in hanging out with me today. For dinner, we had another round of loaded potato soup because that's what Ryan had asked for us to make again. I enlisted the teen's help this time because as you can hear, I am still a little bit congested and not feeling the greatest, so I needed some help to peel and cut all the potatoes and get things going. She is an amazing kitchen helper for me. If you're looking for the recipe on this one, scroll back. I think sometime last week I made a video where I made two soups in one video. I made chicken noodle soup and this loaded potato soup, which is quickly becoming a family favorite. Soup is done and just doing its thing now. I took over doing dishes for Middle Little tonight. She had gotten them mostly done, but there were some left over and the neighbor's kids were coming over to hang out. Over the past week, their dog has been coming over to visit our yard in the evening time. So then our kids take her back down to the road to meet up with her kids to go home. And so now our kids have become friends with their kids and they come over in the evening time to hang out with ours after they get home from school and their evening activities. And I didn't want her getting stuck missing friend time. So I finished washing up the last few dishes for her. Okay, keep in mind this is a judgment-free zone here. Here is two weeks worth of laundry that I have just been ignoring here. Yes, I wash everybody's laundry except for my father-in-law's. He handles his own laundry. And then it all ends up just getting thrown in one pile. I don't worry with folding the kids' laundry at all. I just sort it into their baskets and they can handle those issues. As you can see, everybody has their own laundry basket over there and I'll just take those upstairs for them. Job done. We're going for progress over perfection here. So this pile is tomorrow Misty's problem, not today Misty's problem. And we're done for now. Which means it is now time for mom to hang out and relax and play some Animal Crossing because the teenager has asked me to restart my island so that we can play together and be friends. So this is where you're going to find me for most of the rest of the evening, at least until I have to take her friends home, and then I'll go back upstairs and probably play Animal Crossing with her at the same time. Good night, guys.